hi you guys and welcome back as promised i have a thrift store haul if you're new to my channel i'm andrea michelle welcome 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 i hope you guys enjoy today's vlog and yeah let's just jump right into it because i have a whole day planned and i'm trying to get the um the video out to you guys for tomorrow so let's go ahead and get it started so most of you guys know i am decluttering my home um if you're new um to me um I'm doing the clutter I probably will post it somewhere below somewhere below where um, uh, where I'm decluttering you can watch that video and see all the stuff that I uh, have been decluttering and today also I'm going to be um, taking you into my home <laughs> yeah and showing you the space that I have created in my living room um, so that you guys can see you know the update on the whole decluttering situation in my condo so anywho um, and just a little bit information about the decluttering and how it started um, I had some stuff um, some issues going on in my condo um, and I had to move you know basically I moved in to move out and I put most of my stuff in storage and most stuff in my mom's house. She has a pretty nice size house. Um, and, um, you know, over the time I was shopping at Dollar Tree 99 cent store only stores and I'm buying like constantly the same product, the, the same product because not knowing that I had it in storage and stuff like that. So, um, instead of me trashing stuff I'm definitely going to donate it to my local um Salvation Army or my local um Goodwill uh store so um people can actually ha you know if I see anybody on the street or whatever and they want they need some dishes or something like that um I'll help them out or you know I'll take it to a church I just not I'm just not the type of person I'm just gonna throw stuff out especially when it's brand new or it's not used um but if it's used, it will definitely get trashed out. Um, anywho, you guys, that's just a little bit of information on that. Let's jump right on into this thrifty um, store haul. And I hope you guys enjoy. I love you guys as always. Wait for the next clip. <laughs> Okay, so the most important thing that I bought that I was really looking for, I know I found a couple in um, my local Dollar Tree, and I saw some inside of <coughs> um, the 99 cent only stores, but they weren't what you call couponing, you know, booklets, um, couponing organ organization, like, you know, the ones that you can organize all your coupons, you can even put money in it, or like if you're doing some savings or budgeting. And I was really, really, really excited when I found this. Um, and it's from Target, you guys. And I didn't know Target had these. And I would, I even went to Target to see if they had them. And they said they didn't sell them anymore. So I'm really excited that I was able to find this 13 pocket coupon organization with notepad. Um, host coupons. Hi. Oh, look at you. You guys, let me take you. Oh, look at that baby. Oh, yeah, I got AJJ. Look at all these toys back here. I got him those, and then I got him some more trains at the thrift store. Um, and I'll tell you guys about that later, but let's get back into the organization. Uh, thing. So, it holds, it holds coupons or checks. Features secure close elastic pen holder PVC free and I think it's really cute. Let's open it up so you guys can see it. I've been um, working in it since last night. Um, I put my little pen in but this is what it looks like. It has like a lot of pockets in here and then this is the little notepads. These are basically um, the little, um, little like you know when you're Let's say your kids in kindergarten and you're working with them with their ABCs or you're working with them with their um, their numbers. Um, they use these little Decker cards right here for that. But this was already inside of here. So I don't know if the notepad like was attached to here or something like that. Because I see it where it says it was attached to the top. But it's the same card. So these cards are like that. Um, and then yeah, it has a little pocket for the cards. Um, so yeah, I was really working on it um, last night. So um, today for lunch, me and AJJ, because I don't want to 
have a big dinner tonight. I just probably want to have a salad. Um, I get these coupons from Kroger's because I have Kroger's um, credit card. So I get a lot of these coupons in the mail. These like lifesavers you guys if you don't have that credit card like you're missing out this is lifesaver um but because they have like free eggs free bread free oil free um granola bars stuff like that so i just signed up with the whole um credit card thing and i got my credit card i spent a little bit like 28 dollars and then i received a whole pack of coupons like these um different kinds of coupons in the mail so today um i'm gonna be making like um a pasta um because i have these three coupons like i need some vegetable oil some veggies to go in the pasta and pasta so i definitely um, I'm thankful that I have that um, coupon source and not only that I have other coupons from like Sunday's paper but I am really excited that I found this I'm really gonna keep this I think I paid only 65 cents for this like 65 cents you know in the store it'd probably be like you know nine or ten dollars but 65 cents was a good deal when I saw it I was like I'm gonna snatch that up she ain't getting that not the day <laughs> So I bought that and then I'm trying to think if I'm going to start the household stuff or the clothes. I think I'm going to start the household stuff. So um, I found this paper towel holder. It's more of a copper paper towel holder. And um, with decluttering and you're getting stuff out your house, um, you definitely can bring stuff into your house. But you have to be limited of what you bring into your house. You don't want to go back through that whole decluttering stage in your condo or your house or your apartment or, you know, wherever you stay. You don't want to go back through that whole phase because that is, like, terrible, like, terrible. Like, you have to sort out things. You have to figure out things. It's like a whole, like week two weeks process you know and i'm over my two weeks uh process because i knew i said i was going to be done with a whole week but it's been like two weeks you know so um anyways i bought this new paper towel holder and i bought oh my gosh fruit basket holder so i was really excited when i oh let me tell you the price of that it does it have a price i think i paid like a dollar and change for this one and then for this one it I thought it had the price on it um no it doesn't it might have been like three dollars it wasn't it wasn't expensive I could tell you that because um the thrift store I go to like these people love my son AJJ and I like I the love that people have for like you and they always say he's so respectful he say yes ma'am he say no ma'am he say yes sir he say no sir and he smiles and he's not like other kids they always having bad days or they always getting rude i no baby i cut that no 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 since he was two years old he's always been very respectful i don't i don't i don't condone a rude child i don't girl i gotta tell y'all something but this is gonna be in another vlog um but yeah um anyways so I bought this fruit basket. You have bananas down here, your fruit down here, and onion and bell pepper up here. I mean, you can put it any kind of way, or you can put it in your bathroom and have like extra towels for guests, extra soap. You know, you can make it work. You can DIY it. You can have it for a flower stand. You know, put a flower here and some herbs there. You got yourself a flower stand. Uh, so I just, my mind is always everywhere. And um, I found this nice little toilet um, tissue paper holder, which I think is really great because it moves and stuff like that. So you can put like, you can move it up to put tissue all the way down, you know, like stack tissue and keep tissue organized and in the bathroom. And when it's time for you to um, restock tissue, you can just pull it up, the tissue paper up, and then you have fresh tissue. So I have a tissue paper um, and most, like I say, all this is copper. I just want you guys to see it's like a copper but it has like a really thick bottom to it this was $3.99 so I think that the uh, fruit thing was $3.99 as well so um, in my bathroom um, I'm definitely gonna take that the regular tissue paper holder off of there and um, use this because the regular one it's like kind of messing up my cabinets and I want to go ahead and go in and fix it um, so I just wanted to 
you know, make some space in my bathroom so I can make it, you know, more comfortable for guests, you know. Um, and it's comfortable, but I just want more more uh, bathroom space in my bathroom. Um, let's go to the clothes, and we're going to go straight into AJJ's clothes. I only bought him two shirts, and these are brand new shirts. They have not been worn or anything. They still have a tag on them, if you can see. This right here is definitely from the children's place. And this shirt was $10.50, but I only paid 65 cents for this shirt. So, and it's a little bit too big for him. And I'm sure that I probably will be wearing it because I definitely can wear it. Um, but, um, this shirt is really cool because I was going to buy him one anyways. And this says the Wi-Fi is, the Wi-Fi is down. Guess I'm going outside today. <laughs> and I thought that was really, really freaking cute. Like awesome, cute. So I'm just going to step back so you guys can see. But yeah, the thrift store, more people to be like, you know, like some of my friends be like, oh, girl, it's that thrift store is so nasty. Da -da -da -da. I said, you need to go to the ones that I go to because I do my research before I go to any thrift stores. And I look at the reviews and all that, honey. So, sis, get the kids together, get on the road and thrift hunt okay and even like garage sales and stuff like that I do garage sales you know what I mean it just depends on what kind of garage sale it is you know um but anywho you guys let's see I got a quality granite faded glory and I think this is Walmart I'm not sure if it's Walmart yeah it's Walmart somebody bought it online and it was four dollars and ninety seven cents I mostly go for like Walmart stuff for Ashton because they have for Husky because he's a he's a big bone, you know. He's a big bone, but he's so handsome. Um, but um, you know, uh, I I go to Walmart sometimes and I buy his clothes because their Husky clothes fit him so like nothing can be perfect, but in this case they fit him so freaking good. And I really like the brand of the clothes that they're stretchy and they're not tugging him. Um, most clothes, like if I buy clothes from Children's Place, I have to watch out. I will not, I'll order his shirts, I'll order his underwear, his socks, and his, um, and, like, backpacks and stuff like that. But his shoes and his pants, I definitely will go into, um, Children's Place because sometimes it's, their, their sizes are really misleading, especially when he's husky. But, um, yeah, I bought him this shirt and it's really, really cute. And I also paid just a dollar for it. And it's really, it's brand new. But even if it's brand new, you guys still go ahead and wash it. So you guys won't, um, so, you know, because people touch this, touch these clothes every day. And you just want to be safe when it comes to your kids. Um, so, yeah, so go ahead and wash everything that you buy. And you guys, you guys know I am from Texas. So, you know, everything's big in Texas and I have to go big. But when I go on some websites and I'm looking for a shirt that has to stay on it, there are really, really expensive shirts out there. Like I, like I haven't found one yet until I went to the thrift store. So I found this shirt that has to, um, Texas State on it. And I really, really love it. And this is by, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, PP Lack Clothing. PP Lack Clothing dot com so this is a medium you guys you know I love the bottom because it you know covers the dairy air and I love stuff like that I don't know my mom was like why do you like to cover your dairy air it's so pretty she said you got it for me won't you show it and I'm just because I'm a mom you know I just want to stay you know you know dressing right for my son because I don't want you know, him to be like, Mom, why you have that on? Mom, you know, and I, when I go out, I do dress up. I get sexy. And you guys, I'm going to be um, going out a lot more, um, not to like dates or anything, but just with my friends. And we're just going to try to check out the scenery just to get out just a bit. Um, maybe like once out the weekend, like, so I'll go out this weekend, next weekend. I won't go out. That other weekend, we're going out to check the scenery out, you know, and I'm going to be taking you guys along, so I hope this channel is really, 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 it's growing, and I'm not saying it's about to grow, because 
I've been noticing, guys. I've been noticing the views. I've been noticing the the likes. I've been like, I've been noticing like you guys, um, new subscribers. You know, thank you so much for giving me a chance and opportunity to show you my life. You know what I'm saying? So it like I'm excited. Yesterday I was having like this. Like these three days that I haven't vlogged or whatever, I was having like emotional breakdown, depressing breakdown, um, due to me, you know, not having my stepfather around. It's been 20 years since he's been gone. And, you know, it just, it just, I don't know. It just, my whole body just dropped because, like I say, my stepdad was like my dad. Um, and my uncle was like my dad. You know what I mean? So I just, I just, and they're both deceased. My uncle died in February, and my stepdad, he died 20 years ago. So, uh, it's just been really hard, um, because, you know, after this year, um, next year will be two years for my uncle, and next year will be 21 years for my, uh, my, my stepdad. And I call him my stepdad, but I call him my dad, you know what I mean? Because he was my dad. But, um, I just, I was going through something. I was really going through something. I prayed about it. God fixed it. You know, he told me, don't worry about it. You know, they're healthy. They're living, you know, they're, they're in my kingdom. They're fine. They're fine. You know, so I just had to have a moment as mothers. Like I say, we have our moments. Like we, sometimes I lock myself in the bathroom and my son, he'll be in the room next room. He'll say, mom, what's wrong? And I can't tell him because I'm literally in there breaking down. Um, but at some point God comes in and he, he, he blesses me. He, t he shows me like, you're going to be okay. You're a strong woman. You're going to be okay. Just remember, you know, how Mary went through that whole pregnancy and how, how, you know, how I was born, you know, and it's just, I don't, you know, but anywho, let's get back to uh, what I got from the thrift store, you guys. I'm just feeling really good today, and oh yeah, so I found this Reebok bra. So I used to be in an extra large bra, you guys, but since I've been doing good, um, I did mess up um, one time this week, and I had a bagel. Matter of fact, I had two bagels. I ain't gonna sit here in front. I had two bagels, and I feel so bad about it, but it was so freaking good. It was so good to get some type of bread in my system, and I feel like sometimes, like, when you have a little cheat day, um, and this is wasn't even my cheat day, but I made it my cheat day because I had ate that bread, but um, from that, I learned, like, it's okay to have a bit of bread. But them two bagels wasn't right. Girl, that, that, that wasn't right. That, that wasn't right at all. Y'all know that wasn't right. Two bagels? I can see if I had one in the morning and one in the evening. But I had them like back to back. That wasn't right. That was bad. That was so bad. But yes, yeah, get back into the haul. Um, I had um, spotted this bra or bra. And this is really cute because it has like that fishnet, the fishnet type of bra, and it's covering. And I just can't wait till I get my stomach down the way I wanted to because I want to wear this bra with no shirt. Like, I really do. I see a lot of women running around here where I stay at with no shirt on, with their bra out and everything, and their little tights and stuff. No disrespect. Good vibes only to you fit girls, okay? I'm not at the fit level right now, okay? But when I get there, can we all just run together and, and just be happy? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got this Reebok bra, brand freaking new. Like, this brand new, you can tell it's brand new. It just doesn't have a tag because, you know, some people think, like, when it's name brand stuff, um, that you will take it back. But, yeah, it's really cute. Um, it's a large... But I just really like it. And then in the back, it's just the same as the front fishnet. Then it's got a really, like, nice elastic, so it won't be, like, moving around. It'll just stick there. But anywho, um, I got this shirt. When I saw this shirt, literally, you guys, yesterday, like I said, I was going through. When I got this shirt, I was just like... I had to breathe because I was just like, I was going through so much, you know. Like, not, not going through so much, but I was, you know... I felt like it in my head that I was going through so much, but I really wasn't going through anything. Um, I was just depressed. But when I saw this shirt, just look at this shirt. It 
So it says it's about the journey and not the destination. It's about the journey and not the destination. So I saw this shirt. I was like, this is so cute. And um, this is a size large. You guys know I used to be an extra large. Um, now that I fit into extra large clothes, it's like loose, like really loose. So I feel like I'm doing a really, really good job at um, what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, especially like doing yoga and stretching and stuff. Um, so anywho, I'm just telling y'all my life, you know, this is what it's about. You know, this is my vlog. I tell you guys about my life, you know, and I just hope you guys, you know, understand. I could be talking about a million things on my channel and I'm still going to be intact with my haul. <laughs> so, um, this shirt right here, it stood out to me. It says shake the sugar. And I think this is like a, maybe like a, some type of challenge. And it says wellness challenge sponsored by uh, TRS, Active Care, and Antenna. Um, so that's Antenna. I think it's like um, Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, insurance. So Shake the Sugar. This shirt right here is very motivating. Shake the Sugar. So that means, it means to me eat less sugar don't eat a lot of sugar and I don't really eat I don't really tend to eat a lot of sugar um and I don't eat a lot of candy either so um this shirt right here I really like and then I just got a normal um this is this shirt right here is from you should know uh Target targets so it's just a regular purple a regular like purple shirt or what can we call it? A plum colored shirt. So it's just regular. I really like colors like this. I like shirts like this because they are stretchy. So I don't have to worry about any shirt chugging me or anything like that. And what size? Is, it's a large. So um, I'm staying in the large for just a bit. My hope is to get into a medium uh, shirt. My hope is to get into a medium um medium pair of pants or a size 13 um and then i would definitely be okay um this is more for um like living room i showed you more for like bathroom and kitchen um so this is more well yeah this is like some for kitchen and some for my uh just a little extra so i found this little cup I thought it was really cute because it has this little silver thing going on. So I'm going to put this on my cabinet. Um, and don't blame yourself from drinking out of cups from thrift stores. You can sanitize them. You can wash them. You can bleach them. And everything will be okay. I've bought a couple cups. Um, they were brand new. But I bought a couple cups. And I washed them sanitizer and drunk out of them. Because, I mean, you have washed them. You have disinfected them there's no germs on them and you will be okay okay i promise you that um but when i look for a cup at thrift store i look for if it has been beat up you definitely don't buy or if it has scratches on it you definitely don't buy but if it's new like this one you buy <laughs> so like i said i love the little um silver thing on it and the fact that Girl, let's have some tea. You know, we're going to have me and you, we're going to have some tea, okay, in this cup. But this cup was only $0.65, cents, which was a great deal. You guys see that I have bought some other cups that look like this kind of. Um, hold on just a second. I, I'm going to show you. So these are the other cups that I bought um, so far from there. Uh, with this third store, they put stuff out, but they won't put it out. They'll put it out separately. So you definitely have to look around for it. But I need like two more of these. <laughs> and then I bought the, the main cup, which I need one more of these. And they definitely charge you by cup, which was $0.65. Cents, and that's not bad. These came from Mainstay, uh, Main which is, you know, um... Kmart or um, Walmart. So I really enjoy stuff like this. Um, so I bought this one, but I pre release bought those uh, like a while back. And then, you guys, this is cool. I bought, I don't know what it is, but it's really cute. And I'm going to put it on my living room um, little table that I have what I have all my succulents my flower succulents I want some real ones so I can put inside but um 
I bought this. I'm trying to go to DIY it. I'm not sure. But the best thing about this, you guys, you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, she could have dropped this. I'm about to drop it because I want you guys to see what it does. It's, it's freaking plastic. It's plastic. So I'm really excited that, you know, it's, they should make stuff like this. Somebody DIY this. And they had a great thought in mind to make it out of plastic. Who would have thought of that? It's so nice. This is freaking nice. But um I have like this great I like this great idea of, like um to I don't I don't know who made this because it doesn't have a name on it. But I really wanted to reach out to this person to see if I could get another one made. But um this was only like $4.99. $4.99 so that's really cheap for me, and I love thrift stores. I love thrift shopping, and I just love a great bargain. And if you love a great bargain, comment below. Let me know what kind of bargains you're looking for when you're in a thrift store. What are you looking for when you're in a thrift store? Give me, give me a thumbs up for this video as well because you knew that was coming. And subscribe. Subscribe if you made it this far. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're a newbie. Um, cause I definitely put out videos Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, your girl's doing some other stuff, some other stuff. And I have some unique, um, videos coming up and I had someone to reach out to me for, for doing like a PR on an app. And then I had somebody reach out for, to me to do a PR on glasses. So I'm really uh, excited about the growth and us just pushing it, you know, I'm trying to get to um, 500 subscribers by December, you guys, so I really need your help, and I am on Instagram, which is cuppy27, C-U-P-P-I 27, go there, because I always upload stuff there, and yes, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel, and I know I told you guys I love this cup of coffee, did I, so, <laughs> uh, Thank you guys so much. And have a wonderful day. Bye.